Introduction In the dense forests of North America, where the pines reach towards the heavens and the underbrush whispers secrets of the ancient earth, there lies a mystery as old as the tales that surround it. A legend that has captured the imagination of generations, a creature that stands at the crossroads of myth and reality. Bigfoot Known by many names across different cultures, Sasquatch, Yeti, Skunk Ape, this elusive giant has become an icon of the unknown, a symbol of the wild places that still remain untouched by human hands. Today, we embark on a journey to unravel the enigma of Bigfoot, to explore the deep-rooted folklore that has etched itself into the fabric of our society. We will delve into eyewitness accounts that span centuries, scientific investigations that seek to separate fact from fiction, and the indelible mark that this creature has left on popular culture. From the misty mountains of the Pacific Northwest to the remote woodlands of the Appalachian Trail, tales of this mysterious being have echoed through the trees, igniting curiosity and debate. In this documentary, we will venture into the heart of the mystery. We will meet the dedicated researchers who tirelessly track elusive clues, the skeptics who demand concrete evidence, and the believers who hold on to the hope that there is still wonder in the world, hidden in the shadows. We will examine the evidence, scrutinize the theories, and perhaps inch closer to the truth behind the legend of Bigfoot. Join us as we step into the unknown, where the footprints of a giant beckon us to follow, and the whispers of the wild urge us to believe in the unbelievable. Welcome to the Mysteries of Bigfoot. Historical Sightings As we delve deeper into the shadows of the forest, we turn the pages of history to reveal a tapestry of tales that have been woven into the very essence of the Bigfoot legend. The chronicles of this enigmatic creature stretch back into the mists of time, where the oral traditions of Native American tribes speak of formidable beings that roam the wilds, beings known by many names but all sharing a common thread of otherworldly presence and profound significance. The indigenous peoples of the Pacific Northwest, such as the Salish and the Lummi, have long told stories of the Sasquatch, a term derived from their languages, which translates to wild man or hairy man. These narratives are not mere fables but are respected accounts of encounters with a creature deeply respected and often considered a part of the natural world's sacred balance. Moving forward in time, the journals of early European settlers and explorers are dotted with peculiar entries. In the 1800s, frontiersmen and trappers reported sightings of large bipedal creatures, with one account by Theodore Roosevelt in his book, The Wilderness Hunter, describing an unnerving encounter experienced by a seasoned hunter. These stories, passed down through campfire tales and local lore, added a new chapter to the Bigfoot saga, one that suggested these beings were not confined to myth, but had made their presence known to the newcomers of this land. As the years progressed, the sightings continued, each adding a strand to the web of evidence. In 1924, a group of miners in Ape Canyon, Washington, claimed to have been attacked by a group of ape men, an event that would become one of the most famous encounters in Bigfoot lore. The 1950s brought the term Bigfoot into the public consciousness following a series of large unexplained footprints found in Northern California a discovery that would ignite a media frenzy and solidify the creature's iconic status. These historical sightings, rich in detail and consistency, have laid the foundation for the modern search for Bigfoot. They serve as a bridge between past and present, between the spiritual beliefs of indigenous cultures and the curiosity of contemporary society. As we stand upon this bridge, we cannot help but wonder, what truths lie within these stories that have been told and retold for generations? Are they simply the echoes of our collective imagination, or do they hold the key to understanding a creature that has remained just beyond our grasp? Join us as we continue to trace the footprints of history, seeking to uncover the reality behind the legend, and perhaps in doing so, rediscover a sense of wonder that has been lost in the modern world. The journey through the historical sightings of Bigfoot is not just a quest for answers, but a pilgrimage through the annals of human experience and our enduring fascination with the unknown. The Patterson-Gimlin Film 
In the annals of Bigfoot lore, there exists a singular piece of evidence that has stirred more controversy, fascination, and debate than any other, the Patterson-Gimlin film. Captured in the rugged wilderness of Northern California in 1967, this short motion picture purports to show a glimpse of the elusive creature in its natural habitat. The film, shot by Roger Patterson and Bob Gimlin, has become the cornerstone of Bigfoot research, a visual enigma that has captivated scholars and enthusiasts alike for over half a century. As we cast our gaze upon the grainy frames of this historic footage, we are transported to Bluff Creek, where the towering trees bear witness to a moment frozen in time. The film presents us with a figure, covered in dark fur, striding across the clearing with a gait that is both familiar and otherworldly. The creature, known as Patty to those who have studied her movements, turns her head towards the camera, offering a fleeting connection before disappearing into the forest's embrace. The authenticity of the Patterson-Gimlin film has been the subject of intense scrutiny. Experts in various fields, from primatology to special effects, have weighed in on the debate. Some point to the creature's muscle movement, the texture of its fur, and the physical dimensions as evidence of its legitimacy. Others argue that the film is nothing more than an elaborate hoax, a costume worn by a human actor, designed to deceive and entertain. Despite the skepticism, the film's impact on Bigfoot research is undeniable. It has inspired countless expeditions into the wild, prompted scientific inquiries, and given rise to a community of researchers dedicated to uncovering the truth. The footage has been stabilized, enhanced, and analyzed frame by frame, each effort peeling back a layer of the mystery, yet the question remains, did Patterson and Gimlin capture a genuine encounter with Bigfoot, or is the film merely a masterful work of fiction? The legacy of the Patterson-Gimlin film extends beyond the realm of cryptozoology. It has permeated popular culture, appearing in films, television shows, and advertisements, becoming a symbol of the eternal human quest to explore the unexplained. The image of Patty, mid-stride, looking back over her shoulder, has become an icon, an invitation to consider the possibility that we are not alone in the forest, that there are still secrets waiting to be discovered. As we ponder the film's place in the tapestry of Bigfoot mythology, we must acknowledge its role in shaping our collective understanding of this enigmatic creature. Whether you view the film with a skeptic's eye or a believer's heart, its significance cannot be overstated. It challenges us to question our perceptions of reality, to embrace the unknown, and to keep our minds open to the wonders that may yet walk among us. So, let us continue to scrutinize, to debate, and to dream. For in the frames of the Patterson-Gimlin film lies not just an image of Bigfoot, but a reflection of our own curiosity, a testament to the enduring human spirit that looks to the shadows and yearns to know what lies within. The Science of Bigfoot In our quest to decipher the enigma of Bigfoot, we must turn to the rigorous lens of science, where empirical evidence and critical analysis light the path to understanding. The scientific community, with its array of tools and methodologies, approaches the Bigfoot phenomenon with a healthy dose of skepticism, yet remains open to the possibility of discovery. It is here, in the confluence of biology, ecology, and genetics, that we seek tangible proof of Bigfoot's existence. The biological plausibility of a large bipedal primate inhabiting the remote wilderness of North America is a subject of considerable debate. Scientists ask, could an animal of such size and stature evade detection in an age of satellite imagery and advanced tracking methods? The answer lies in the vastness of the terrain and the density of the forests, which could theoretically conceal a species, especially one with a presumed low population density and a behavior pattern adept at avoiding human contact. Ecologically, the existence of Bigfoot would raise questions about its impact on the environment. What would its diet consist of, and how would it interact with other species? Would its presence be detectable through the ecological footprint it leaves behind? These considerations drive researchers to scour the wilderness for signs of habitation, from nesting sites to foraging evidence, all in the hope of piecing together the puzzle of Bigfoot's way of life. The search for physical evidence is at the heart of the scientific investigation. 
Footprints, often cited as proof of Bigfoot's presence, are meticulously examined. Casts of these impressions are analyzed for dermal ridges, weight distribution, and stride patterns that could distinguish them from known wildlife or human fabrication. Each print is a potential clue, a whisper in the leaves that may lead to a greater truth. DNA analysis offers a beacon of hope in the search for Bigfoot. Hair samples, purportedly from the creature, are subjected to genetic testing, compared against databases of known species. While many samples have been debunked as belonging to bears or other mammals, the scientific community holds on to the prospect that one day, a sample may defy explanation and open the door to a new understanding of our planet's biodiversity. Yet, the scientific journey is fraught with challenges. Contamination, misidentification, and hoaxes cloud the waters making the search for irrefutable evidence a Sisyphean task. Despite these obstacles, the pursuit continues, driven by the fundamental human desire to explore the unknown and to answer the question, are we truly alone, or is there a hidden giant that walks in the silence of the forest? As we navigate the complexities of the science of Bigfoot, we are reminded that the line between myth and reality is often blurred. Science is our compass in this uncharted territory guiding us with reason and evidence, yet it is the spirit of inquiry that propels us forward. For in the end, the search for Bigfoot is more than a quest for a creature, it is a journey into the very heart of mystery itself. Eyewitness Accounts In the realm of the unexplained, personal testimony holds a power that is both intimate and compelling. It is through the eyes of those who claim to have come face to face with Bigfoot that we gain a glimpse into the heart of this enduring mystery. These eyewitness accounts, each a thread in the rich tapestry of the Bigfoot narrative, offer us a window into experiences that defy conventional explanation. As we listen to the voices of those who have witnessed the inexplicable, we find commonalities that bind their stories together. Descriptions of a creature towering in stature, with an imposing presence and eyes that reflect a deep intelligence, emerge time and again. The sound of its movement through the brush, the feeling of an intense gaze, the profound silence that often follows its passage, all are motifs that recur in these personal encounters. The credibility of these accounts is as varied as the individuals who share them. From seasoned outdoorsmen to casual hikers, from the skeptical to the staunch believers, the spectrum of witnesses is as broad as the land Bigfoot is said to roam. Some come forward with a hesitance, their rational minds grappling with the reality of their experience. Others speak with a conviction that only the certainty of seeing can instill. We must consider the impact of these encounters on the lives of the witnesses. For many, the experience becomes a defining moment, altering their perception of the natural world and their place within it. The weight of ridicule and disbelief is often a heavy burden to bear, yet they choose to share their stories, driven by a need to make sense of the unexplainable. As we delve into these personal narratives, we are faced with the question of what lies at the core of these experiences. Are they misidentifications, the mind's attempt to place the unfamiliar into the context of the known? Or are they genuine encounters with a being that exists just beyond the reach of our understanding? The search for Bigfoot is as much about exploring the unknown territories of our planet as it is about navigating the uncharted waters of human experience. In the eyewitness accounts of Bigfoot, we find not only the potential for new discoveries but also a reflection of our own search for meaning in a world that still holds secrets. So, let us listen with open minds to the stories of those who have stood in the shadow of the unknown. Their accounts are the living history of the Bigfoot legend a chronicle of the enduring human quest to understand the mysteries that lie in the wilderness and in the depths of our own belief. Whether these tales lead us closer to the truth or deepen the enigma, they are an essential part of the journey, inviting us to look beyond the veil of the forest and to question what wonders might yet be revealed. Bigfoot and Pop Culture as we traverse the shadowy line between myth and reality, we find that Bigfoot has left an indelible footprint not only in the wilderness but also in the vast expanse of popular culture. 
The enigmatic figure of Bigfoot has captured the creative spirit of filmmakers, authors, and television producers, becoming a cultural icon that transcends the boundaries of folklore. In the flickering glow of the silver screen, Bigfoot has been both a figure of terror and a misunderstood gentle giant. Movies have portrayed this elusive creature in a multitude of lights, from the horrifying beast lurking in the backwoods to the benevolent guardian of the forest. These cinematic interpretations reflect our collective fears and fascinations, tapping into the primal part of our psyche that is drawn to the unknown. Television, too, has embraced the Bigfoot phenomenon, with documentaries and fictional series alike delving into the legend. Reality shows send intrepid explorers into the heart of Sasquatch country, while animated programs and commercials often depict Bigfoot with a touch of humor, endearing the creature to audiences young and old. Each portrayal adds a layer to the public's perception, weaving Bigfoot ever more tightly into the fabric of our cultural narrative. Literature has not been immune to the allure of Bigfoot, with novels and short stories exploring the creature's existence from every conceivable angle. Authors have used the mystery of Bigfoot as a canvas for exploring themes of wilderness, humanity, and the thin veil that separates fact from fiction. Through the written word, Bigfoot becomes a symbol of our intrinsic connection to nature and the unexplored corners of our world. The influence of these cultural representations cannot be overstated. They shape how we view Bigfoot, coloring our expectations and beliefs. For some, these depictions reinforce the notion of Bigfoot as a tangible entity waiting to be discovered. For others, they serve as a reminder that legends have a power of their own living and breathing in the collective consciousness of society. As we reflect on Bigfoot's place in pop culture, we recognize that the line between the creature of legend and the icon of media is as elusive as the figure itself. Whether seen as a harbinger of fear or a symbol of the untamed wild, Bigfoot continues to fascinate and inspire, a testament to the enduring human love for storytelling and the mysteries that lie just beyond the next ridge. The Skeptic's View As we delve into the heart of the Bigfoot enigma, it is crucial to explore the perspectives of those who cast a critical eye on the legend. The skeptics, armed with questions and a demand for empirical evidence, offer a counterpoint to the tales and testimonies that have fueled the search for this elusive creature. In this segment, we turn our attention to the skeptic's view, examining the arguments that challenge the existence of Bigfoot. Skeptics point to a lack of concrete evidence as the cornerstone of their doubt. Despite thousands of claimed sightings and encounters, the definitive proof, such as a specimen or clear unambiguous DNA evidence, remains elusive. They argue that in an age where technology permeates even the most remote corners of the globe, the continued absence of irrefutable evidence suggests that Bigfoot is more myth than reality. Hoaxes have undeniably played a role in shaping the Bigfoot narrative. Over the years, numerous claims have been exposed as deliberate fabrications, with pranksters creating fake footprints, doctored photos, and even elaborate costumes to perpetuate the myth. These deceptions not only cast a shadow over legitimate research, but also provide skeptics with ammunition to question the entire body of evidence. Misidentifications are another pillar of the skeptic's argument. In the vast wilderness, where the play of light and shadow can deceive even the most experienced eye, it is not uncommon for bears, large primates, or even humans to be mistaken for the legendary Sasquatch. Skeptics suggest that many eyewitness accounts can be attributed to such cases of mistaken identity, with natural explanations often overlooked in favor of the extraordinary. Psychological explanations also come into play. The power of suggestion and the influence of cultural narratives can lead individuals to interpret ambiguous stimuli as confirmation of Bigfoot's existence. The phenomenon known as pareidolia, where the human mind perceives a familiar pattern where none exists, may also contribute to the perception of a Bigfoot figure in the wilderness. In the face of these arguments, the skeptics challenge believers and researchers alike to meet the rigorous standards of scientific proof. They call for a measured approach to the legend one that separates emotion and desire from the cold, hard data that is the currency of scientific truth. As we consider the skeptic's view, we are reminded that the pursuit of knowledge is a balance between open-minded exploration and critical thinking. 
The skepticism surrounding Bigfoot serves as a reminder of the importance of questioning, of not accepting legends at face value, and of the need for concrete evidence in the quest to turn myth into reality. The search continues. As the sun casts its first light over the dense canopy of the forest, a new day dawns on the quest for Bigfoot. The search for this enigmatic creature is far from over. It is a journey that continues to captivate and challenge a dedicated community of researchers and enthusiasts. These individuals, fueled by a blend of passion, curiosity, and scientific rigor, venture into the unknown, their eyes set on the horizon of discovery. In this modern age, the tools at our disposal have evolved, offering us unprecedented opportunities to explore the wilderness where Bigfoot is said to dwell. Advancements in technology, such as high-resolution cameras, night vision equipment, and motion-sensitive trail cams, have become the eyes and ears of researchers in the field. Drones soar above the treetops, scanning the landscape with an eagle's eye, while sophisticated audio equipment listens for the faintest whispers of the wild. The Bigfoot Research Community, a tapestry of individuals from diverse backgrounds, stands united in their quest. Scientists and laypersons alike share their knowledge, their theories, and their time, each contributing to the collective effort. They comb through the vast expanses of North America's forests, mountains, and valleys, their determination undimmed by the skeptic's shadow. Collaboration is key in this ongoing endeavor. Citizen scientists join forces with seasoned experts, pooling their resources and insights. Together, they analyze data, scrutinize evidence, and follow up on leads with a meticulous attention to detail. Each expedition into the wilderness is a step forward, a chance to uncover a clue that might lead to the heart of the mystery. The dedication of the Bigfoot research community is a testament to the enduring human spirit, a reflection of our innate desire to understand the world around us. With each new piece of technology, with every carefully planned expedition, we draw closer to the truth, whatever it may be. The search for Bigfoot is more than a hunt for a creature. It is a quest for knowledge, a journey that honors the explorers of the past and inspires the dreamers of the future. So, as we continue to seek out the elusive Bigfoot, let us move forward with respect for the wilderness and an open mind to the possibilities that lie hidden beneath the canopy of the unknown. The search continues, and with it, the hope that one day we may finally stand face to face with one of the greatest mysteries of our time. Conclusion As our journey through the enigmatic world of Bigfoot draws to a close, we find ourselves standing at the crossroads of myth and science, folklore and fact. We have traversed the dense forests of eyewitness accounts, scrutinized the grainy frames of the Patterson-Gimlin film, and weighed the skeptical voices against the fervent beliefs of those who seek the truth. The evidence we have explored is as varied as the landscapes that Bigfoot is said to inhabit, each piece a fragment of a larger, more complex puzzle. In the end, the mystery of Bigfoot remains just that, a mystery. It is a narrative that has evolved over time, shaped by cultural influences, personal experiences, and the innate human desire to understand the unknown. The search for Bigfoot is more than a quest for a hidden creature. It is a reflection of our own quest for understanding, a mirror that reveals our curiosity, our fears, and our wonder. As we step back into the world beyond the forest's edge, we carry with us the stories, the theories, and the questions that have fueled this enduring legend. Bigfoot, whether a creature of flesh and bone or a construct of our collective imagination, stands as a symbol of the wild and uncharted territories that still exist, not only in the physical world but also in the vast expanse of the human mind. So, let us continue to gaze into the shadows with a sense of awe, to listen to the whispers of the wilderness, and to embrace the possibility that there are still wonders to be discovered. The search for Bigfoot, like all great explorations, is a testament to the unquenchable human spirit, a journey that will go on as long as there are mysteries left in the world and those who are brave enough to seek them out.